Welcome to my channel. It's Steph Smith, that one crazy teacher. If you've been a subscriber, welcome back. Thank you for watching me and sticking with me. And if you're new here, hi. I hope that you stick around, hit that subscribe button, and don't forget to hit the bell so you know so you're notified anytime I upload a new video. Alright, so today I thought I would share the unboxing of a book subscription I um subscribe to. Uh bookcase stock club. Um I've never subscribed to a book uh, subscription box before, and as you guys know, I was doing Ipsy, um, but I decided I was not happy with it at all. So I love reading books, so we're going to try this out. There are several different uh, ways to do it. Um, it's ten about $10 a month if you round up, so $9.99. You get two books a month, and you can either do young adult, you can do independent fiction, you can do um, thriller and suspense, romance, children's, um, science fiction, there's a couple different, there's at least six or more different categories. Um, if I have a code or anything like that, I will link it down below and I will try to remember to link the um, address, the website down below as well. So we're going to go ahead and get into the unboxing and I have already cut the tape and that's the only thing I've done and the box already started opening because I had it upside down. So when you cut, the, cut it open, turn it back over and then start pulling it apart. Okay, let's show. So this is what the box looks like. Lots of fun. I already cut it open. So, all right, I've got a hello. Okay, and then it's just a thank you really quick. I like it. All right. Oh, I got a bookmark. Yes, I agree. I like it. Okay, let's see what books I got. I went with a suspense thriller. So let's see, what did I get? I got Pollard by David Rosenfeld. Let's see. And Andy Carpenter Mystery. I like the puppies. So, let's see. And as you can see, it's a hardback book and it usually goes for $26.99 in the U.S. So, let's see. Alright, so... All right, I will read that later and I will let you guys know how that is. All right, and the other book, oh, it's also a hardback book. Nice, oops, I tore the tissue paper, that's okay. Ooh, The Shadowland, The Historian Elizabeth Kostova. Cool. And this book usually goes for, oh, there's not a price on the back, so let me look on the inside cover. Usually goes for $28. So I'm already impressed that these were hardback books. I did not expect that at all. So I'm already impressed for $10 getting two hardback books. I, I think I'm going to like this. I'm not sure if I'm going to stick with the thriller and suspense novels or if I'm going to change it, but um, I need to hurry up and read these and figure it out. So I'm going to go ahead and read the inside thing, the little excerpt, but with the books about for uh, David Rosenfeld Collard. So it says, Lawyer Andy Carpenter's True Passion in the is the Terra Foundation, the dog rescue organization he runs with his friend Willie Miller. All kinds of dogs make their way to the foundation and it isn't a surprise to find a dog abandoned at the shelter one morning, though this one was accompanied by a mysterious anonymous note. But they are quite surprised when they scan the dog's embedded chip and discover that this dog 
that they know this dog. He is the DNA dog. Two and a half years ago, Jill Hickman was a single mother and of an adopted baby. Her baby and dog were kidnapped in broad daylight in East Side Park, and they haven't been seen since. A tip came in that ID'd a former boyfriend of Hickman's, Keith Watcho, as the kidnapper. A search for his of his house showed no sign of the child, but did uncover more incriminating evidence. And the clincher that generated Watchell's arrest was some dog hair. Notable since Watchell did not have a dog, DNA tests showed conclusively that the dog belonged to the Hickman's dog. Watchell was convicted of kidnapping, but the dog and baby were never found. Now the reappearance of the dog, the case is brought back to light and the search for the child renewed. Goaded by his wife's desire to help a friend and fellow mother and his own desire to make sure the real kidnapper is in jail, Andy and his team enter the case, but what they start to uncover is far more complicated and dangerous than they ever expected. That sounds really good. Let me know below if you have read that book. My husband pointed out that these books were, um, from 2017 and I was like so what they're three years old and okay whatever so I am excited to read that book by David Rosenfeld and this other one um, Shadowland I'm gonna read the insert thing for you guys but I also noticed that she was the author of the historian and I was like the historian I've read that book it's really good now there's parts of it that were a little bit slow, so I'm expecting this to kind of be the same way. But I was like, I wanted to know more, so it helped me get past those bits that were a little bit drier, if you will. So um, I thought I thought it was really good, and it was um, about this lady doing the research for her um, ancestry, if you will. So, um, and it's been a long time since I've read it, but I remember that I enjoyed it. So, I'm going to read the little inside cover thing for the Shadowland. So, it says, From critically acclaimed number one Times bestseller author, the historian comes a novel that blends the past and the present even more powerfully. The Shadowland is a mesmerizing tale that spans generations and unearths the troubled history of a gorgeous Bahana country. A young American woman, Alexandra Boyd, has traveled to Sofia, Bulgaria, hoping that life abroad will salve the wounds left by the loss of her beloved brother. Soon after arriving in the elegant East European city, however, she helps an elderly couple into a taxi and realizes too late that she has accidentally kept one of their bags. Inside, she finds an ornately carved wooden box engraved with a name, Stoyan Lazarov, and I'm so sorry if I butcher any of these names, Raising the hinged lid, she discovers that she is holding an urn filled with human ashes. As Alexandra sets out to locate the family and return the precious item, she will first have to uncover the secrets of a talented musician who was shattered by politically op political oppression, and she will find out all too quickly that this knowledge is fraught with its own dangers. Elizabeth Kostova's new novel is a tale of immense scope and delves into the horrors of a century and traverses the culture and landscape of a mysterious country. Suspenseful and beautiful, written and written, beautifully written, it explores the power of stories, then pulls the pull of the past and the hope and meaning that can sometimes be found in aftermath of loss. So it sounds like it's going to be good, but really sad. So I might not be as excited now to read that, but I'm still excited to read it. I mean, I've already read a book by the same author and I enjoyed it, so it's worth a shot at least, right? So I'm gonna read, I think I'm gonna read Collard first. I'm in the middle of reading The 100, the, the book series. I'm gonna read all four books. Um, if you guys are interested in book reviews, me doing book reviews let me know below um i'm thinking that i am going to end up doing some book reviews of um like any novel that i read honestly because i do try to read quite a bit sometimes i take a break like during june i really didn't read but i was also when i had my surgery so anyways 
I'm, I am just like, you know, really, really impressed by this book or this box so far. Out of curiosity, since my husband did point out that it was uh, 2017 that it showed that these books were published, I did want to look up to, you know, because he's like, well, they discount books. And I said, they don't discount hardcovers that much, not in three years. So I looked it up and Barnes and Noble, I just looked up Barnes and Noble since that's where I usually go for my books. So this one was showing 16.50. It's not in stock right now. So already I saved money. Then this one is going for $16. And I did not click on it to see if it was the hardcover or the um, paperback, I'm assuming the hardcover. But I mean, you know, I paid $10 for this box. So two hardback books that run about $16 a piece. Original prices were like over $20. Still a great deal. I, I honestly believe that. So. I am excited to get to read these books. So I am going to read the books and decide if I'm going to keep the subscription or not. Um, if I don't figure it out before the next subscription box, then I'm going to get two more and I will do the unboxings on here, of course, with you guys. Um, so that is it until I do a review of the books. But right now, as far as the book the unboxing goes I'm super impressed I mean one book was $26 the other one's $28 they're both hardback books and I only paid like $9.99 for the subscription super super impressed so I'm gonna leave um, a link down below of the subscription or the website for the subscription boxes in case you guys are interested in it and like I said they have children's they have young adult and they have several different options for grown-ups so I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope you have a great day. And God bless. And thanks for watching. And if you like this video, please leave a like, a comment, and subscribe.